AI art is, mmm, El Garbijo. I hate it so much. I hate it with all my heart, actually. It is one of the most annoying trends of the past two years. So I stumbled across this article by Vice called, Why is AI art so cringe? And that is really a good descriptor of it because AI art is super cringe. And a lot of the proponents for AI art are extremely cringe in of themselves and are extremely egotistical. You thought that regular artists and the regular art scene was full of pretentious douchebags? Wait until you read or listen to what a lot of these AI art specialists are saying about art. To me, and a lot of other people make this point as well. I feel like people that specialize in AI art prompting are oftentimes pretty angry and defensive whenever anyone says that they don't like AI art. It's because, in my opinion, they don't have even a single ounce of talent, and that's the reason that they want to pursue this AI art scene. They want to be they want clout for their work in the AI art world. And all they're doing is using software they didn't build. They're using keywords that more than likely they even stole from other people. And then the actual software, the actual mid journey, and a lot of these other AI art generators, right, are just ripping off millions of other artists that actually put their blood, sweat, and tears into their creative work and into their creative vision. And there's actually a class action lawsuit against Midjourney as well as a few others. In January, a group of artists filed a class action lawsuit against Midjourney and other art bot creators for copyright violations after it allegedly used their art as part of the new raw material for its bots. And that's not even explaining it very well. Basically what Midjourney and all of these other AI art generators are doing is they use a massive sample base that includes the works of thousands of artists and it's basically just remixing the art. Hello, this is Matthew Butterick. I'm a writer, designer, programmer, and lawyer. In November 2022, I teamed up with the amazingly excellent class action litigators, blah, 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 um, to file a lawsuit against GitHub Copilot for its unprecedented open source software piracy. That lawsuit is still in progress. Since then, we've heard from people all over the world, especially writers, artists, programmers, and other creators who are concerned about AI systems being trained on vast amounts of copyrighted work with no consent, no credit, and no compensation. Today, we're taking another step towards making AI fair and ethical for everyone. And at this point, I'd like to say that that's exactly where we need to go with this. I'm not saying that I completely hate AI art. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm more of a fan of AI tooling. If this AI software, it could be used to help artists, writers, things like that, then that's great, but it's literally being used to just steal other people's work, remix it, and then regurgitate it, and essentially people are showcasing these works as their own. There was a time when the general public wasn't familiar with the AI art generators. It wasn't really big until apps like Lenza started hitting the app store. And then the general public, the normies, started to figure out, oh, okay, this is, this is generated art. And even still today, most people don't even really understand what goes into AI art. To make an AI art piece, you're literally going into a prompter, like let's go to Hugging Faces, Doll E Mini. So Doll E Mini, this is literally what you do. There is no creativity. There is n no originality that goes into this. You're using what is essentially an input box to put these different prompts, and then it generates this art by remixing all the different 
uh, pieces of art that it's sampled off of, all the millions and some people think actually billions of images that were used as the basis for this artificial intelligence. So anyway, if you go in and you say uh, Biden giving a thumbs up, you know, whatever. So anyway, it's like this on Mid Journey as well. Essentially, it's going to remix all these different works by all these different artists to get as close to what you're looking for. So Biden giving a thumbs up, even though this is older, Dolly Mini, it's an older one, it still should generate something halfway decent. But anyway, while it's cooking, let's get back to the lawsuit. Today we're taking another step towards making AI fair and ethical for everyone. On behalf of three wonderful artists, plaintiffs, Sarah Anderson, Kelly McKernan, and Carla Ortiz, we've filed a class action lawsuit against Stability AI, DeviantArt, and Midjourney for their use of Stable Diffusion, a 21st century collage tool that remixes the copyrighted work of millions of artists whose work was used as training data. And I love the way that that's explained. That's exactly what it's doing. Remixing original pieces, and then you've got everyone using it as their profile picture or posting it on their timeline or their feed. If the general public is able to take a picture of themselves and they're able to be a cowboy on the moon riding a unicorn, nine out of 10 people aren't even gonna think about how that technology exists. They're just gonna say, ha that's awesome, that's great. And that's why so many people have jumped on board with this AI art thing, but it really got annoying a few months ago. It seemed like things have died down now. You're not seeing people post it as much, but then again, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on all these different social spaces as much as some other people are. Now you can see this is an older generative AI, right? And it, it looks like shit. And this is when it was funny. Like it was actually fun to generate these really insane, surreal and sometimes really, well, I mean, this one is creepy. It's, it's come a long way from here. You can see that this is what, you know, Mid Journey is producing. And honestly, yes, it's, it's great art, but anyone can get here, guys. You can learn to draw this well. It's not, it's not magic. It's just practice. Practice is how you achieve art that is is great it's how you learn to draw hands and feet and portraits and things like that you don't even have to use a physical canvas you can do what i do and use a digital i use a digital tablet and i draw portraits and my portraits originally sucked they were garbage and now i can actually draw fairly decent portraits but i'm still nowhere near where i want to be i want it to be photorealistic but see i work at this every day i draw every day to get better and better so when people that are huge fans of ai art say things like essentially art is dead and you know art uh f people actually creating art is antiquated and things like that it just makes me think that they're an whole they're not creative and basically they're using these AI services to gain clout or notoriety here here's something from the New York Times an AI generated picture won an art prize artists aren't happy and this person just won the prize and doesn't give a shit. he says I won and I didn't break any rules so apparently the creator doesn't care that the other artists aren't happy that he literally spent three minutes on this piece right here while this would take a regular artist who really took the time to sit there, whether it be digital or a physical canvas, someone to sit here and do this piece of art by hand would probably take between 40 to 80 hours, depending on how, it, well, honestly, maybe even longer than that, depending on the size of the piece. I mean, look at the detailing on that. And that's another reason why people are so into AI art, because it's, it's instant satisfaction, it's instant gratification. They can put these prompts in, they can get something generated like this that's nice and pretty and detailed, and essentially they can pat themselves on the back and say, I'm an artist now. I don't know what they're thinking, but whenever I use AI art generators, I don't feel any sort of pride or like I did something special because anyone can enter in the same prompts and set the weights 
the same way that you're doing it and get a similar result. Yes, it won't be exactly what was generated for you because it's a random thing, right? It, it pulls from this, this uh, set that it's studied off of, of these millions and, and a lot of people say billions of images of actual original art and original photography. Um, but anyway, you get what I'm saying here. Basically, you just have to get good at the at the prompts, and then you can create stuff like this in like two, three minutes, as long as you have a decent computer. And a lot of people already have these ad ad advanced setups because it's for gaming. If you have a gaming computer, then you can easily generate images like this because you already have the GPU set up. You already have everything um, basically optimized for using this uh, software. I would be so pissed if I had spent, you know, 40, 80, 160 hours on some highly detailed, like, really nice piece, and then I got beat out by some art who literally took three minutes to make this piece. I'm not a fan of AI art. I think the people that are so defensive of AI art, the reason they are defensive of it is because they have no creativity themselves. They have no drive. They have no focus to create art themselves. So that's why they're so defensive of, it, of AI art. And basically they call it their work. This is my work because I took the hours it, it took to learn uh, what weights to set where and how to use the prompting. And I had to practice for at least two or three hours and I had to read two articles. Whatever, dude, you know, it's, it's it, at the end of the day, you're not an artist, you're not creative and you don't have the drive and you're not talented, you know? So that's just really, honestly, what I think about AI art. I think it's a big waste of time. I think that these software engineers could have worked on something for the medical field, something for to, just to improve life in general besides it's literally a useless tool. It's useless, honestly. I mean, yeah, you can put your grandma in a cowboy hat on the moon. Who gives a f Anyone can draw that with any sort of talent. And yes, it's, it's, it's entertaining for five minutes, but it gets old so fast, especially when everyone downloaded Lindsay and all of a sudden, everyone's got a hand-painted portrait of themselves as Queen Elizabeth VII or, you know, like I said, cowboy on the moon riding a unicorn. It's so unoriginal, cut it out. Just, that that's where I'm rating AI art, just cut it out. It is not, it's not good, it's not good.